so. If it weren't for her, this wouldn't have happened to us. It's all her fault. Chu Chao? Catch her and you will catch Yanshan too. Go catch her, brother. Tell me, Song. Where's Chu Chao? Princess Chun have both arrived safely. You call this safely? My favorite son has now become disabled! Deliver my order. Bring him to me. Dead or alive, capture the rebel Yan Shun! Understood. Your Majesty, what about the maid who was able to escape with Yan Shun? She's the same as Yan Shun! Kill her! Yes. My dear Lan, you do not look well. I know you're worried about how, but you should also take care of yourself. I've asked the Dali Temple, Imperial Guards, and the City Office to take action. We'll find how very soon. Your Majesty, Chu Silyu from the Red Hill Court is here. He must have news about how. He must have news about how. Let him in. Yes. <laughs> you found how, haven't you? You found him, right? Your Highness, I know you're worried about the little prince. I've tried my best to find him. Oh, uh, uh, however, I... Where is he? <laughs> Your Highness, you and why that's come is to blame for this. Your Highness, I searched all over the house and I found him. I was too late, little prince. <laughs> Open it. <laughs> I want you to open it! Please don't look, your highness! You can't look! Get out! <laughs> your highness! Your highness! <laughs> If you want to punish someone, you should have punished me. Why did you take my Hao away? He was so young. It was you, right? You could have stayed together with your child. So you sent your daughter to take away my own child, right? It's your daughter. Who took this all away from me? Ah! No! Your daughter. 
daughter killed my child. I won't let her get away with this. <laughs> to kill you would be too generous. Castrate him. Your Highness, Your Highness, Your Highness, kill me, please! Your Highness, Your Highness, kill me, please! Kill me! Your Highness! Remember, what you owe me should be paid back to me at Lanfu Palace. Yes, Your Highness. <laughs> Your Highness, our people are back. We didn't find Chu Chao. You were gone for so many days, and yet still no news about Achu. Your Highness, we tried our best. Keep searching. Send more people. You must find her. And then bring her back to me. Ah, Jing. Didn't you hear my order? Your Highness, after Yu and Chen came back to Chang'an, they issued the order to arrest Chu Chao at all costs. Now, there are wanted posters with Chu Chao's face. Those posters have been delivered, and they are posted everywhere. Everyone in Wei is looking for her. Ungrateful people. Ah Jing, deliver my order. If Ah Chu gets hurt by anyone, then I, Yan Shun, will make sure to kill his entire family. As you wish. you and couldn't sleep but fortunately your highness seems to be well but otherwise be honest with me you like me don't you princess I I'll give myself to you but you must do me a favor Chun. Yanshun got out of Chang'an. We captured Ouyang's spy, and he has given us a detailed confession. With this confession, we have captured several Ouyang spies in Chang'an. We have continued pursuing and found a network of spies across the nation. Whether it's the case of Marquis Dingbei or the Chang'an Rebellion, Ouyang spies were involved in both. 
Then I'll make sure this time. I'll catch all of them. No one escapes. After I leave, you should be careful, Grandpa. Goodbye. I heard that the maid who sent the princess and prince of you back was separated from the Shu Li army. And now she's wanted? Yes. If you meet her, what are you going to do? Will you bring her back? Grandpa, what do you think should I do with her? I don't expect you to kill her. I just want you to stay out of this. Don't get too involved! Huh. You don't agree with me. You used to be just like me. That year, when you broke your own legs, just to protect that woman from being killed, then why would you want me to act differently? Because I regret it. Is that strange? I was young and impulsive then. And I was deceived by a few sweet words. I ruined my future and destroyed my whole life. I failed the trust of my family and disappointed my parents. All for a woman who betrayed me, who let me down, who isn't even mine. So tell me, how can I not regret it? And if you went back in time, would you just sit and stay numb and watch that woman be killed? There are some things that if you do, you'll regret years later. But if you don't, you'll regret right away. I must go. Ching. Uh, I'm just passing through, and I took the wrong road. I, I'll leave right away, right away, <laughs> immediately. I die. Go. Why won't you go? I die. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you, you see, a group of strong men are bullying a weak woman. It doesn't make sense. The ancient said, one has to be reasonable so others will also help him. And now you're being unreasonable. So maybe I should report this. Problems can be settled rather easily in the proper court of law. But if you do not want to go, then just tell me what has happened and I'll help you with a compromise. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Look at you. You're a weak woman. How can you fight and overcome this bunch of strong men? Look at each of them. They all have a sword. What happens if they hurt you? 
Listen, you'd better go with me. If you have a problem that's not easily settled, I'll help you solve it. Then you won't have to fight any of them. It's such a disgraceful thing. Let me tell you this. Cover. What do you want? What do I want? To get all my belongings back, of course. Do you want to die? Without those things, I'll die. If my exit papers are gone, how can I enter the city or stop at an inn? In addition, they have no enmity towards me. Plus, they're officials. They can't hurt me. So, you know they're officials. Do you know who I am? You saved me. So aren't you afraid they'll think you're my partner? Hmm? Your name's Adai, right? Thank you for saving me. Really? Look, lady. I, I was the one who saved you, not him. You, you didn't even... You didn't even bother to thank me. But you thanked an animal? Adai, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean you. You saved me? When exactly? How come I don't know? I saved your life, and you didn't even thank me. This is how you treat your savior? <laughs> and you dare mock me? Did you kill those officials or carry me out of danger? During the encounter, you didn't do a thing. Yet you claim that you saved me? Is that right, Adai? You... I... It was I who reasoned out with them. After I reasoned things out, uh, I... Then what happened? Did they lower their swords and let us go? You have a sense of justice, but you also need a brain. If you haven't the ability, just stay out of it. If it weren't for the horse, we may already be dead. I... <laughs> your belongings are lost for sure. Take the silver to make up for your loss. And I'm sorry that I threw away your exit papers. Report the loss to the officials. This place is dangerous. I'll take you to town. All right? No, huh? I'm a dignified man. I have a clear conscience. But I'll be in danger if I'm seen with you. You're such a young lady at first glance. Yet those soldiers are pursuing you. You must be a bandit or have a no something even worse than that. Go. Just go. Go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Adai. Let's go. Genius! You really don't want this money? Up ahead is Shenyang City. How do you get into the city without money? Well, I'd rather die. <laughs> Please, Your Highness. We are almost at Hongchuan City. When I left Northern Yan, my father sent me here. And at the time, the Emperor wanted every officer in the frontier to send one of their own children to Chang'an as a hostage. No one obeyed his order. Then the Emperor wrote a long letter to my father. After he read it, he turned around and said to all of us, Who amongst you three wants to go to Chang'an? Just for a year. 
then asked my father, Isn't the Emperor your brother? Why is the Emperor on guard against you? My father said, Just because we're brothers, I have to support him, or no one else will. That day, I decided I'd go to Chang'an. Because he's my father. If I didn't support him, then who would have? Specify today. Yes. Then why has no one come? Your Highness, perhaps they're on the way or were detained. I'll go and find out. There's no need. Your Highness, you sent the invites three days ago, yet nobody has come. There can only be one possibility. They simply don't want to come. Oh? Why would that be? Your Highness burned Chang'an and returned to Northern Yan. Nowadays, Everyone knows your name. The Emperor was discredited. He refuses to concede defeat. He's probably assembling troops to attack Northern Yan. And if you want the eight tribes to fight with the army of Wei, I'm afraid they don't have the guts. They're supposed to be my father's allies. I counted on them to at least give me the same support. It seems I was mistaken. I heard today the Huotu tribe is holding a banquet. All the tribal leaders will be present. The Huotu tribe? Agutu, the leader, is the brother of the Anke, the ex-leader. Anke is the Marquis' sworn brother. When Beishuo was occupied, he led his troops to support us. Unexpectedly, Agutu killed him on the way. And then took his wife. He also killed all of Anke's sons. This person is notorious for being extremely cruel and merciless. If your highness sets out right away, you can catch up with a banquet. Then let's go. I lead the way. Your highness, Mr. Wu is coming. He can take over the affairs on the grass line. Now that I'm back, there's no need to bother Mr. Wu. You'd better stay here and wait for him. We'll be back soon. But your highness... Black. Miss Yu said that after we attacked Wei, we could hang it up. Go ahead and hang it then. You heard that? Why are you all surprised? His Highness has ordered it to be hung now.
That dagger is named Longchen, which was said to be owned by General Bai Chi. With an elf inside, it's nurtured by blood. You should take care of it. Thank you, Your Highness. Prince Yanshun, once our grassland warriors, to go death alongside him. He must be dreaming. <laughs> he do that. He yes. And who's his father? The fallen king of the grassland. For over 20 years, he conquered and stood unrivaled, but his head was still eventually cut off by someone. Right! <laughs> Come on, cheers! You still got it? Right, cheers! <laughs> cheers! Cheers! But I heard he refused to marry the princess in front of the emperor and led his followers to make Chang'an flow with rivers of blood. He's pretty brave! Can you believe that? <laughs> Even I can do something like that. Exactly. Rivers of blood. Did you even see it? <laughs> it's your turn to drink. Go on, drink, drink it. it. Drink, drink, drink. All right, all right, all right. I'll drink. <laughs> if you say so. Go on. <laughs> fill it, fill it. Go on. We can't boost others' ambitions. Yes. Because that bastard just seized the chance and sneaked away. Then he escaped to Northern Yan like a stray dog. He was sent to Chang'an when he was young. Chang'an is like <coughs> a hot house then. He seemed to have stayed there for quite a long time. He has become frail. It made his bones so weak, as weak as a flower. <laughs> ah, can he still hold a sword and fight? Ah, if he gets caught in battle, I don't feel ah, so. He will be easily defeated by my maid. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce myself. I am Yan Shun. 
I am your new king. received a secret letter, I went to follow your instructions. I have found three secret bases. They all belong to the Lian. This is the most important one here at Shanyang City. But we arrived too late. When we rushed in, the secret documents had already been burnt. And these spies had poisoned themselves. Who are they? Well, this woman was just employed to cook food here. That's her son. They're Shangyang natives, and they don't know anything. They're innocent. Uh, please, don't kill my son! We don't know anything! Please let us go! Kid, come here. No! No! My son! No! Where's your mother? Take her away! Interrogate that woman. Make sure she talks. Yes. Hey, kid. Do you have any relatives? Starting today, you'll take care of him. I... M my lord! I, I haven't gotten married! How, how did I suddenly become a father? Hey, this is for your sake. He's afraid no one will marry you. He wants that kid to look after you when you're old. Uh, no, I... Uh, just say yes. Well... Uh, Call me father. Father. <laughs> My lord, that woman has confessed. She said the Liang people have infiltrated the Chamber of Commerce in Shanyang City. Moreover, that chamber has had big issues recently. The situation is this. The businessmen here form several chambers of commerce. They have then unified to support each other. After many years, they have formed four major chambers here. And the four chambers monopolized all of the city's industries. Then three years ago, an organization named the Shanyang Trade Guild came into existence. This chamber had developed so quickly. Whoever opposed the chamber would be in a bad situation. Nowadays, southeastern rice, flour, grain, oil, tea, silk, excluding water transport and salt, are all monopolized by them. I also heard that they've also gotten involved in the warhorse and iron mine business. So the young people have infiltrated the trade guild? Yes, they have. Who's their leader? Tell me. Well, about their leader, on the front end, is from a big family in the city. He goes by the name Liu Shi. He's called Philanthropist Liu. He used to be an official. But you see, later on, he resigned from the position for reasons unknown. Then he became a businessman. But rumor has it that he's not the real leader. The real leader is an underworld figure. As for who this underworld figure is, and what he looks like, I've no idea. But they call him Mr. Feng. So you mean this chamber has something to do with the members of the Liang? Yes. I suspect that all of them are Liang people. The people in this chamber, except for Liu Xi, came out so quickly and so suddenly. Their identities are very mysterious. So about this Liu Shi, where did he serve as an official? I'm not clear on this, 
so I'll try to find details. All right, then do it. Yes. Right. The things I entrusted to you, have they been done? Sir, you can rest assured that the portrait of that lady, it has been distributed. And now, the spies in Shenyang are all in place. If that lady ever comes to Shenyang, we'll find her right away. Don't be so confident. She's the same as you. She can change her look and her voice. It won't be easy to find her. Everyone, have a look. Have a look. These are all new arrivals. Have a look. These are the best slaves in Shanyang City. Please have a look. Hey. See one you like? The price is negotiable. Have a look. The best slaves in Shenyang. These are all new arrivals. Come on, Don't you come know me? On. Step up. Hey, Just it's you. See Be something quiet. you like. Otherwise, it'll put us in danger sir? and I'll have to leave. Only the best slaves here for sale. <clears throat> uh, hello. Is there someone you like? Mm. You just need to say the word. Uh, let me see if there's one I like. All right. What about this one? Well, huh? <laughs> he's, he's a city guard and was just captured. He's rude and insulted the investigators. Well, that's amazing. I like a slave with personality. I'll buy him. All right. <laughs> what a lucky man you are. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! Are you not telling me already? The slave doesn't talk to his master that way. What master? I'm an intellectual. And you cannot buy me with your money! This is an absolute disgrace. If you think about it, this is all your fault. Hey, how can you say that? I didn't ask you to save me. You didn't have the ability, but you still got involved. Understand? Now I'm the one who just saved you. So we're even. Second, what? I gave you money. But you refused to accept it, to save face. I... Third, being reduced to this situation, you have only yourself to blame. You deserve it. It's got nothing to do with me. You evil woman, how can Shut you... Shut your mouth. I'm warning you. I have something more important to do. If you get captured again, no one will save you. All right? Farewell. What? Fine. Uh, I'm a dignified man. No need to tussle with a woman. I'll go myself. Your Highness, you came for me. I don't think you came here just for a drink. What is your purpose? You know, you're so boring. If I wanted a drink, there's no need for me to come to you. She serves the rebel Yanshu. Her notoriety precedes her. The Emperor is offering a lot of silver for her head. Why does your highness know her? She is the beauty. I met her in the city of Chang'an. <laughs> Your Royal Highness is of impeccable talent. She must have offended you badly, which is why you want to get her killed. Have I assumed it correctly? No, no, no. It's actually the opposite. I'm asking you to save her. <laughs> Your Highness, I have always been asked to kill people and have never been tasked with saving them. You'll be well compensated. 
I have information, which is important to you. Hmm. It's about the one you've been looking for, Sha Chong. Does your highness know anything about Sha Chong? <sighs> She's imprisoned at the Liang Spy Agency. Oh, oh, oh. 